Hello everyone. Today we are going into a new lesson on simplifying radicals. So first to go over just some vocabulary. Here we see we have the square root of 25. There's a little check mark thing that is called the radical. And the 25 is called the radicand. So that's what we're taking the square root of. And so it's important to remember with these square roots, that's really undoing a square. And so, for instance, here I know that the square root of 25 is equal to 5. And that's because 5 squared is equal to 25. So I can think of taking the square root of 25 as being the same thing as taking the square root of 5 squared. And the square root and the squared button or squared operation are inverse operations and so they end up canceling each other out. And so that's what we kind of want to think through when we're going through and simplifying. So first when we are simplifying radicals it's really important to remember what your perfect squares are. And so you can use a calculator for all of these, but we'll just kind of go through what all these are. So like the square root of one is one, the square root of four is two, the square root of nine is three, the square root of 16 is four, the square root of 25 is five, the square root of 36 is six, the square root of 49 is seven, the square root of 64 is eight, the square root of 81 is nine, the square root of 100 is 10, 121 is 11, 144 is 12, and 169 is 13. And so again, it's important to remember that means that one squared is equal to one. When I take two squared, that's equal to four. Three squared, that's equal to nine, and so on. So even when it gets to 12, 12 squared, well that's 12 times 12 is equal to 144. So that's what we mean when we're taking that square root. And something, a special property that square roots have is the product property. And that tells us for any numbers a and b, where both a and b are greater than or equal to zero, we have that the square root of ab is the same thing as the square root of a times the square root of b. So let's look at some examples of that. So here I have the square root of 2 times the square root of 5. Well, this property tells me that this is the same thing as taking the square root of 2 times 5. And when I take the square root of 2 times 5, 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Let's try another one. Here I have the square root of 12 times square root of 3. Well, I know from this product property it's the same thing as the square root of 12 times 3. And then 12 times 3, I get 36. Here, this one's a little bit more tricky. The special part about this rule is that you can only do this with those that are under this radical sign. So only those square roots. So I'm gonna go ahead and first rearrange these so that my like terms are by each other. So I wanna have really three times four, my whole numbers, times the square root of five times the square root of five. Well, three times four, I get 12. Now this is the square root of 5 times 5. Which this is just the square root of 25. 